Andrew Carnegie, who amassed a fortune in the steel industry in the United States in the 19th century, famously declared that the man who dies rich dies disgraced. He spent the last 18 years of his life giving away his fortune, and in 1902, he founded the Carnegie Institution of Washington as an organization for scientific discovery. In 1904, the Mount Wilson Observatory was established in the mountains near Pasadena, California, transforming astronomy and astrophysics. With his telescopes, Harlow Shapley mapped the globular cluster system of the galaxy, Edwin Hubble discovered the expanding universe, and Walter Bade first recognized the phenomenon of stellar populations. Unfortunately, by the 1960s, light pollution from Los Angeles had severely compromised the usefulness of the Mount Wilson telescopes. And so, the observatory director at the time, Horace Babcock, began a search for a dark side, which led him to the Atacama Desert in the southern reaches of Chile. This led to the establishment of the Las Campanas Observatory in 1969, approximately 500 kilometers north of Santiago. In 1971, a donation by a staff astronomer, Henrietta Swope, made possible the construction of the Swope one-meter telescope. Then, the 2.5-meter Irene Dupont telescope became a reality. And finally, in 2001, the twin 6.5-meter body and clay telescopes entered into operation. Dark skies, an arid climate and a smooth airflow has made Las Campanas one of the best astronomical observing sites, enabling pioneering discoveries to be made over the last 50 years. In 1984, astronomers Brad Smith and Rich Terrell studied a young star called Beta Pictoris because of its recently discovered infrared excess. This image revealed the first direct evidence of an extrasolar planetary system beyond our own. And this initiated the study of extrasolar planetary systems. Today, this is one of the most exciting fields in astronomy. In February 24, 1987, Oscar Dualde and Ian Shelton observed an intense source of light in the Large Magellanic Cloud, coming from an exploding star. The supernova 1987A was the first supernova visible to the naked eye since the invention of the telescope in 1609. These supernovas are very important uh, because they are the major source of heavy elements in the universe. Uh, elements such as carbon and oxygen, which are the building blocks of life on Earth. A very different kind of stellar explosion was observed at Las Campanas 30 years later. On August 17, 2017, when Natalie Ulloa became the first human to set eyes on a neutron star merger. These and subsequent observations are at Campanas Observatory confirm that neutron star mergers are the major sources of heavier elements, such as gold and platinum. With the planned completion of the giant Magellan telescope expected in the late 2020s, the future holds bright for the Las Campanas Observatory and the Carnegie Institution for Science. The GMT is a next-generation, extremely large telescope, 
that with seven segmented mirrors will be 80 feet or 24.5 meters in diameter. The project is being developed by an international consortium of universities and research institutions. This is a marvel of optics and glass making. We will be able to detect objects 100 times fainter than the Hubble Space Telescope with a resolution 10 times higher than the Hubble Space Telescope. This will enable us to study all kinds of fascinating problems from formation of stars, formation of black holes, interactions of galaxies, and hopefully we expect to be able to detect biological activity in exoplanets. The first 50 years of Las Campanas have more than fulfilled the expectations of Horace Babcock and the Carnegie astronomers who had a bold vision to build a new observatory in the Atacama Desert of Chile, thousands of miles from Mount Wilson and Pasadena. With the construction of the GMT, we can be sure that the future ahead will be as exciting and full of discoveries as the first 50 years.